Take the Minnesota 62 West ramp on the left. When you're hitting the road, it's easy to zone out or become distracted. But it will be hard to miss this. The tape we're using is actually 3M. So yep, that is manufactured here in Minnesota. A homegrown solution designed to catch your eye. The whole idea of that is to add some conspicuity to the intersection and make it vis more visible to drivers. MnDOT says they've decided to adorn hundreds of stoplights and a thousand stop signs at different intersections across Minnesota with reflective tape. Yep, so on the stop signs from the post up to the stop sign, we're going to be adding a piece of red tape that's going to hopefully add more conspicuity to the intersection as well. And we're doing that at close to a thousand intersections around Minnesota. This way, you won't be able to miss them even in the dark. From further out, you'll be able to see this yellow border and then the lights as well. So during the nighttime is really when they have their biggest benefit. Luer says the signs and lights being taped up this round are a part of a bigger picture. If the numbers from the crash data from the next three years are positive, MnDOT says it's not unlikely that you'll be seeing more yellow and red tape on your stoplights and stop signs. A lot of states, um, especially in the south, have been really big on the retroreflective backplates. Uh, Minnesota, we've been a little slower to catch on. Um, so we're hoping now once we do this, we can show some effectiveness and then eventually just make it a standard is kind of a long term goal. All this with the goal of moving Minnesota's highways toward zero deaths. In Minneapolis, Sharon Yu, CARE 11 News.